Alka! Alka. I met someone I liked. How would I know if they, uh, like me too? Is there someone? I. no. I was just curious. Actually, doesn't matter. It's. doesn't matter. Ah, Roger! Right 
Yet another mystery, Christophe. You can yell at me, if you want. Believe it. And what would that accomplish? I make you feel better. No. You didn't trust me enough to talk through your worries. That's a wound not easily mended. I'm sorry. You needn't be. The fault is mine. Trying to bludgeon us. Then we must get closer. Brothers, how did you manage to kill Garm anyway? We killed him a few times, actually, but it didn't take. And I figured maybe the way to stop a soulless beast was to give it a soul. So I gave it the one I had on me. I beg your pardon. Fenrir, remember the light father saw? The accidental magic I did when Fenrir died? That was part of Fenrir's soul going into my knife. Once I'd figured that out, I just... But if we go much further, we'll be right on top of the ogre. Better be sure we're ready. We fight! Yeah! I got that! He's 
done, Father. Grab it. Was ours, you opportunistic sod. He went back to his perch. Let's go after it. into a meat hall, and Thor was there. Do you know why he was there? There were whispers that he was looking for a Vanir military outpost. And I didn't want any trouble, so I got out quick. That's the last I saw of him. But maybe there are others who saw more. I wonder if Thor was meeting someone at the meat hall. Oh, do you think Thor was meeting Mom there? Faye never drank with me, and she would not have with him. Sometimes we never really know the ones we love, brother. my eyes deceive me, that seems to be the stag of summer. Is it hot or is it just my sizzling personality? Nah, it's you, Jack. Can we go already? This is where those tracks lay. The Drake fed here. The creatures here aren't that big. Drake must have been constantly eating to survive out here. Fucking eat! 
Some sort of cage. So it would seem. Another one of those mysterious crystals. City of Possibility.
I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. If somewhere like Fire Temple, then it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. Thank you for coming. Much to discuss. This one has a strong personality. Good thing I've got experience with those. Speak. The tree has become rather overgrown. And? And if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal considering they hold all the rounds. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the nine realms, I suppose. We have seen these stags. Great! Then all you need is some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilers asked me if I was too chicken to release them, but I am in fact not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I have no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Fimblewinter prevented the stags from returning, and now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it! Now then, any luck finding those lean worms? Batatoskar, I'm curious. You said the tree... ...he had plans for you. What exactly has it got you doing? What do I not do, my decapitated delight? I overlook and maintain the stability of the realms, ensure that everything is running smoothly. And, of course, I tend... the world tree. I listen to it, make sure its needs are met. Do you talk to the tree? The tree does not speak in any tongue, but its intentions are clearly felt. Yes, I do realize how, for lack of a better word, kooky that sounds, but it is true. Is it saying anything right now? It's saying stop asking stupid questions. Bitterness, manners. But yes, it is saying something along those lines. Farewell for now, Master Kratos and Retinue. We don't talk him. Bugger off.
Lots left to explore in that crater, I bet. We still have unfinished business there. Something big and hungry stalks the jungle within the crater. Perhaps we could look into it. Also what? Say their warriors still haunt the crater. We could put them to rest. And there was another thing. <laughs> I strongly suspect there are more spirits who witnessed the clash that destroyed their home. Sounds good. Love. What now? The riddle. What gets bigger the more you take away? Love. What kind of chub buffling relationships you been in, Amir? That don't make any sense. Agreed. Oh, fun. I won't be lectured on the nature of a romance by the two of you duffers. Uh, yeah, it's bigger the more you take away. I... Oh. A good fit. That'll keep your bits in all the right places. Damn! Am I good or what? You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. That'll keep your bits in all the right places. A good fit. Ah, another crystal. Best hold on to it until we can figure out what to do with it. Amir, did you know Garn? I was he locked up to begin with? Ah, Hell's Feral Sentinel. Well, believe it or not, Midgard was once oh, bigger. Prepare for a fight. Ah. Help us!
So, Mimir, how did they capture Garm in the first place? That was Tears doing. He lured the beast somewhere safe and kept it distracted by lending his own arm to be gently chewed. Once the chains were on and the gate to Elheim was opened, Garm bit Tears' arm clean off in retribution. But Tears not missing an arm. Well, it grew back, eventually. He is a very resourceful god, after all. If the river's flooded, do you think we can reach some new parts of the crater? Now that I've spent time in Asgard, it's strange to imagine Magni and Modi there. Sif raised them both, right? She seems like a good mom. Maybe a little overprotective. A good mother? Not the Sif I knew. In a culture as debaucherous as the Aesir, being a paragon of womanhood meant being a fierce fighter and a fiercer drinker. And we'll just stop there for now. Pass open. That dragon is shaking in its scaly boots, I suspect. Once we approach the dragon, we will kill or be killed. Understood? Yes, Father. Come on! Elka! Take cover! Ogre's not getting up anytime soon, either. I can hear the animals. They're relieved. Maybe they'll come out of hiding. I'd say we put something of a dent in the dragon population of this crater. I can already hear the difference. The prey animals. They're a lot less scared.
Hmm. <laughs> 